Hello friends. Hey, uh, we are going this evening and uh, I'm going to show you a couple of fast oh, appetizers, uh, snacks that I'm going to make up uh, tonight. And uh, they're really fast, they're really easy, and they're really good. Uh, it's called cowboy caviar. Uh, you've probably heard of it, but any type of beans you have, it can be kidney beans, black beans, I like uh, black eyed peas and this is one of the few things I use black eyed peas in. I've got pinto beans, canned corn. I'm going to dump all these in that, that I've mentioned except for the, uh, the kidney beans. I haven't opened them yet and I'll see if I need more. I will open the kidney beans and everything is drained and rinsed, okay? So black beans and corn. Here's, this is pinto beans, black eyed bead, peas. Okay. Now, before I add the kidney beans, I'm gonna see if I think that's enough beans. Here's my additions to that. It's going to be well, it's really nice if you have a purple onion for the for the eye candy that it might cause. Excuse me. Here's my cilantro that I just chopped and my counter's clean, so I'm going to pick it off the counter. But I have a half of, you put as much or little onion as you want, but that's a sweet onion, a Vidalian onion. Here's cilantro, chopped. Here's a tomato, chopped. I had a nice uh, avocado and I covered it with lime juice to help keep it from darkening. I'm gonna stir this up and see if we need more beans or if we need more of some of my additions. I don't think we do, so the kidney beans will not be added. Now, this is delicious uh, as a side dish to any Tex-Mex uh, uh, or just a dip for chips. We're going to do it with chips tonight, okay? But you can go and make your own salad dressing with a little olive oil uh, and all. I'm going fast. This is Zesty Italian that I happen to have open. I'm going to put this on. It was about a half a jar of that. And the longer that this marinates, the better it gets. I can tell right now, for my taste, I'm going to put some more tomatoes. I happen to have a few cherry tomatoes but give that an hour or two it will be delicious i'm going to add a few cherry tomatoes serve it with uh, corn chips corn uh, fried corn tortilla chips and that will be one of our appetizers tonight Give me a second, I'll be right back and show you another. This one that I'm going to share with you now is so easy, it's uh, almost sinful. We went on a mission to Hawaii. <clears throat> there, I'm, I've given you uh, a, a video, and if you'll go back and look on Sweet Grandma Adeline videos for Freezer Jam, I made every kind of freezer jam there was with all the fruits that were there. And it's all I had to do to create this appetizer, which the students of BYUH loved and uh, the uh, uh, other Polynesians and, and neighbors that we would go to things, is you take a softened 
cube of cream cheese. Now here I have made orange marmalade and I've added red pepper flakes. And that's what's going to go over it today. Okay. Let me grab it. And look what you do. You just spoon this over. Now, I'm sure you have seen uh, this dessert, or I mean this appetizer, where they've added uh, jalapeno peppers and made jelly. Uh, you can make a mint jelly. You can make a, uh, uh, you can make any fruit there is jelly. And you can add red pepper flakes, or you can add the, the, uh, oh, jalapeno peppers and then all you do is serve it with crackers and look here this is going to go to company tonight so I'm going to go like this and put this on my but if I were to have gone in that's all you do spread that on a cracker and every one of my grandkids love it. It's an amazing appetizer, fast, easy. Do it, try the freezer jam. You'll love it. The fruit is going to start coming on and it's something that I think your family will be amazed at how easy and fast a snack that is somewhat even nutritious and certainly filling and delightful. Mm. It's wonderful. They'll enjoy it tonight. And I'll enjoy having all of this done so easily. Hope you'll try these because there's something that you can put in your fridge, pull out, and summer is sometimes the time that you really don't want to have to cook and uh, slave over a hot stove. But we still like to eat. Thanks. And if you like this, give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. I've got to add one thing to uh, my uh, cowboy caviar. I forgot to tell you, you uh, also uh, put uh, bell pepper in it. Any color, uh, as much or as little as you like but that really adds to the taste of the cowboy caviar. We took it, everyone enjoyed it, and I hope you'll try it and enjoy it too. The only difference between an appetizer and a snack is an appetizer normally comes before the meal, so ours became snacks because we had already had our meal. And I think you'll enjoy it if you'll try it. Thanks.